All right, next up, we shift focus to the October 20th votes in Moldova. Well, the nation is preparing for the presidential election and a referendum on joining the European Union. Moldovan authorities claim to have discovered a Russian-backed campaign that involved 130,000 people aimed to sway critical votes regarding President Maya Sandu's ambitions to join the EU. According to the National Chief of Police, $15 million was sent from Russia to activists in September. The police claim these activists are associated with the electoral bloc of fugitive tycoon Elon Shore. According to the police, the money was intended for the purpose of spreading false information, instigating protests and attacking public institutions. Viral Karnatanu presenting video and audio intercepts told reporters Russia aims not only to corrupt voters but also to provoke protests and destabilization on the territory of Moldova, quote-unquote. According to the police chief, the scheme involves sending money to a bank associated with the Russian Defense Ministry. They then use Telegram to educate the receivers on how to vote and spread false information about the EU. Throughout her campaign for re-election as President Sandu has repeatedly leveled accusations of Russian interference to derail her country's plans to join the European Union before the end of the decade. Russia has denied meddling in the elections of other countries, including Moldova's. In April, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said Moldova's authorities were pursuing an aggressive anti-Russia policy. Zakharova, of course representing Russia, had criticized plans for the referendum. She claimed that most Moldovans do not want their country to become an appendage of the EU and NATO, quote-unquote.